Hi, I'm Jerry James Stone. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious and easy mashed cauliflower. It's super simple, big on flavor, it's creamy. I think you're gonna love it, so let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is actually cook the cauliflower. Now, these days, luckily, you can easily find rice cauliflower at almost any grocery store. If not, I have a video that you can watch on how to make your own using a full head of cauliflower. It's super simple, but honestly, if you can find the pre-rice stuff, I recommend doing that. So that's our first step. We're gonna take that and we're gonna cook it with just enough water to cover it, bring that to a boil and just cook it for about 10 minutes just to make it really nice and tender. So let's do that first. Okay, so just gonna add enough water to the cauliflower just to cover it, like about by like a half inch. And then we're gonna bring it to a simmer and let it cook for about 10 minutes until the cauliflower is just nice and tender. We've cooked the cauliflower, brought it to a boil, let it cook for about 10 minutes, and now we have strained it. We're actually gonna add in some butter. If you wanna make this vegan though, since we're just making this easy cauliflower mash, if you wanna make it vegan, you don't need the butter. You can actually just reserve some of the water that it had cooked in and use that to like puree it. I'm gonna use butter. And then once that melts, then I'm then gonna puree the uh, cauliflower with a hand mixer. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start pureeing the cauliflower. If you don't have a hand mixer, you can totally use like a masher that you would use for mashed potatoes. So the thing that's really great about this dish is cauliflower has this natural creaminess to it. In fact, I've even made a vegan mac and cheese using cauliflower as the sauce. It's really, really wonderful. And so you don't actually have to add a whole lot to this to get a nice, delicious, creamy, mashed, quote unquote, potato. The thing that's also nice about cauliflower versus say making mashed potatoes is that you can easily overwork potatoes when you're making mashed potatoes and they start to get kind of gummy and it's just from the starches in there, but cauliflower doesn't have that problem. So you can't overwork them when you're making mashed, quote unquote, cauliflower mashed potatoes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in some freshly cracked pepper and a little bit of salt. Just whatever you wanna do to taste. Just gonna mix that in. Okay, so just to recap, we cooked our rice cauliflower, strained it, pureed it. I did it with some butter. You can definitely do it with uh, just the broth from, the, from actually cooking the cauliflower. And added in some salt and pepper, and now I'm just gonna top it off with some chives, and boom. That's how you have a delicious and easy cauliflower mash. If you like this recipe, hey, give me a thumbs up. If you wanna see something in particular, drop a comment below. And if you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week, so please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. We cooked that for about 10 minutes, pureed it with uh, a hand, let me start that over.